I Fendeli, thank you for your inquiry on the assembly drawing. The first thing to look at, if you look at this slide, is you'd probably be given the assembly in all the loose parts. The first thing to look out for is common sizes, where you'd have bolt holes which will match up, a shaft which will match up, and maybe a base and a footing on it that will match up. So look for common sizes of your assembly and line those up. Always look what is your first item because that will be your base on which all the other parts will join to. Um, what is assembly drawing? Assembly drawing is basically assembly of the completed part sometimes in sections, sometimes just as a pretty picture to see, how all, see all the parts go together. Um, each part will be itemized and there will normally be a parts list to show which each part and where they belong in the assembly. The general layout of assembly is more of the overall layout and in that you could have sub-assemblies and various components in it that forms the general layout. From there you'll break it down into sub-assemblies and smaller assemblies right down to the single detailed parts. Okay, first thing to look at is which orthograph projection you need to use. If it's first angle or third angle, um, the example given here we can see is the third angle. In others we draw in our sectional front view. Our top view we draw where we stand looking at the object and this will be a right end view so where you stand and look at the object is where you draw it on the right hand side. That is your orthographic projection symbol shown that as the third angle. Um, the size of the orthographic projection symbol, it's a 6 millimeter inside hole with a 12 millimeter out circle and the length of the split neck is also 12 millimeter. From the center line of the hole to the start of the split neck is 15 millimeters. The other thing is your ballooning of your items. They're always vertical or horizontal around the object. Um, you can spread them over the different views but only dimension or only shown once on your assembly. Um, your dimension is very important. On most of our drawings you shown it as the 3mm text where your headings and your title is using 5 more text. Um, sections depending on what views they want, you either show the full sectional view as shown here in your front view. A half sectional view is we only show a partial view of it. Um, broken out section would just be a, a detail of a certain part. Items list and title block, obviously the important things to show what is your draw number, what is the correct title of the object and your parts list obviously starting with item 1 going up to all your components with the correct quantity, the correct description. Um, sometimes you have to add the material to it, um, and that's about all. That our general scales will normally be one to one, one to two, and seldom one to five. Uh, one to one and one to two is probably the most common used on that. If you look at this drawing, which is the view we just had there, which is shown a machine screw jack, we got the base. Item 4, which is fully hatched. Remember, nuts and bolts and fasteners, we do not hatch at all. We do not never show the intersection, you always show it as a full view. Um, the thread width or the pitch of the thread is your diameter of the bolt times 0.1. There we've got a lock nut and then the knurled end cap on it. All right, here we've got sections on the assembly drawing which shows you the inside workings of the components. Here we've got a full sectional front view on A, AA is cut right through, and it's shown the full workings of it. Never bolts we don't cut through and nuts we don't cut through. Okay, the parts not section in assembly drawings Number one, as we said, the bolts and screws with our section. Then we've got the bolt head. 
and the lock nut on the end is not sectioned the protruding thread after the nut is normally 0.3 times the diameter to allow for the safety of the locking mechanism all right so then we've got a stud or tapped hole which is then threaded and then we've got a bolt going through there with a washer we are showing the full section of each section they don't line into each other because we need to allow space for the threading of the hole and also the thread of the bolt we cannot thread to the end so there's always a section there of 0 0.3 0 0.4 times the diameter of clearance allowed for that rivets we do not section it's also a fastener shafts we do not section every time we section a shaft is when we do a partial sectional view as we show you around the keyway to show the key okay our balloons the balloon is a 10 mil circle with a 5 mil text inside placed vertically or horizontally around our drawing we only show one item on our drawing so you can spread your balloons to various parts but only shown once um, where balloon is shown into a part we'll use a dot where it's shown on the outside of a part we'll use the arrowhead okay your parts list starting with your first item and working your way up um, list each part by the proper name that it's saved under or called on, on your worksheet with the correct quantities you may have a numerous nuts and bolts for nut and if there's a part number or another drawing then you will have the additional drawing numbers that cross, cross references the other assemblies to your main assembly okay your dimensioning on a drawing as I said will always be three millimeter text when there's notes that'll also be three more text when you put headings or titles that's five more text the important thing of your semi drawing is having a balanced layout on semi drawing generally won't show an isometric um, 3d view like this but you would show your elevations sometimes two sometimes three elevations once again you're ballooning in a straight line where they've got double ballooning as they're shown here it's referring to in that component there are two separate parts that's why they've double ballooned it um, and that hopefully will answer your questions on the assembly drawings look out for common parts and happy drawing